Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. We are gonna make banana nut muffins today, but we're gonna make them vegan, so let's get started. So the first thing we've done to get ready for our banana nut muffins is we have put our little liners into our muffin tin and we're gonna set those off to the side. You don't have to use liners. I just like to because it makes everything cleaner and neater and tidier. So the next thing we wanna do is put together our butter. So we're doing one cup of vegan butter. And I've showed you on other videos that I like to just cut this down a little bit to help my mixer. You don't have to, I just like to give it a little extra help. So the next thing we want to do is put our sugar in. So we have one cup of granulated sugar. And we're going to put that in there with our butter and then we're going to beat that together. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our eggs, which are our applesauce. It's asking for two eggs, which is the equivalent of four ounces of applesauce. So I'm just going to slowly add that in. Now we're gonna beat in our two bananas that we have mashed beforehand. We're gonna mix that in with this mixture. So the next thing we wanna do is mix together our flour, which we have two cups of regular flour. Put that in there. And then we want our salt, which we have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm just gonna give that a little swirl. So the next step we're gonna take is we're going to put our, in with our wet mixture, we're going to add our flour mixture alternating with our milk. So we have one cup of milk here and then we have our flour mixture that we just made. And when I say milk, we're using oat milk because this is a vegan recipe. So let's get started with that. Next we want to do is now would be the time if you're going to put nuts in your banana nut muffins now would be when you would put those in um, I'm not going to put any nuts into mine I am going to add the vanilla though and it says to put one teaspoon of vanilla in because you know I'm never gonna turn up a chance to put some vanilla in a, in a recipe I'm gonna let that stir that in really good for another minute or so. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we've got everything nice and stirred in. I'm just checking the bottom to make sure there's nothing that's settled to the bottom that I won't mix in good. Actually, this recipe looks like I might be able to pour it. So we're gonna put this in something a little bit easier to work with. And then we're gonna try pouring it from our measuring cup into our muffin tins, our muffin liners. I have never said I was a neat cook, so things get messy here in my kitchen. 
sometimes I think it makes things taste better. And I want these to be nice, big, heaping muffins. So I'm filling my cups up a little bit fuller than you may want to. If you want to make a larger quantity, then I would recommend not filling them up as high as I am. As usual, this is a recipe I have not made before. I love trying new and different recipes. I do have my tried and true faithfuls. <laughs> they are the ones that are on the channel that don't say, oh no, what happened? I recently tried to make a butterscotch pie that just something did not go right. I don't know what was wrong with that recipe. Or me. Something didn't go right. Mm -hmm. But the thing about that is, is if you've been baking as long as I have, you're going to have mix-ups. Unless you stick with, well, and I can't even say that. I was going to say if you stick with the same recipes and just cook the same thing all the time. But you're still going to have ingredients that might not you know, something didn't mix right, or your oven is off that day, or something. Looks like I'll be able to make one or two more, but for purposes of this video, we are ready to put these in our 400 degree oven, and we're gonna cook these for about 15 to 18 minutes. We want them to get kind of a golden brown. Well, here they are, the beautiful banana muffins straight out of the oven. They turned out a beautiful golden brown, just what I was looking for. I'm just going to let them cool for a minute or two in the pan, and then we'll take them out and try them and see how yummy they are. show y'all a super easy quick trick if your muffins are stuck in the muffin pan just take a spoon around the edges and it'll break them free pretty easily and you won't scratch up your muffin pan with a sharp knife so just thought you might like to have that little tidbit of information all right so let's try one of these awesome banana muffins and see how they are they look like they really turned out well I'm pleased with how they turned out. So let's see. Oh, I like these muffin cups really well. They're really easy to take off. I don't usually use the aluminum ones. Oh, look at that. That is just gorgeous. We have a really pretty muffin right there. Oh, nice and tender and everything. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. You can see the little bits of banana in there. Now, this definitely would be better if it had nuts, uh, if you like nuts. But that is an awesome muffin. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next bake. Enjoy!